Okay, the first thing to do is remove the flare nut from the hard line. It's been soaked in a penetrating oil to make it a bit easier and definitely use a flare nut wrench. You can see it's kind of half a socket there for more grip around the edge and you won't round it off that way. And of course the regular wrench is on the back just to stabilize the soft line there if we need it, but I do still have the clamp in place. Uh, then you remove the clip that retains the soft line. And of course it doesn't come out too easy because it's filthy. Uh, now we need to remove those slide bolts and they're Allen's keyed into the Cadillac. Never seen that before. Remove the two of them and the entire caliper will come out. Uh, now we just remove the pads. The old pads had plenty of meat, which was great, but they were still old, they were still pretty worn, and new ceramic ones weren't that expensive. Uh, this one comes out with a tap of the hammer, and they're ready for the trash. And now I'm going to be removing the banjo bolt for the soft line there. And that's also been soaked in a penetrating oil to make it come out nice and easy. Here's the old brake line, and see that crack? That's exactly why they were getting replaced. Uh, the other side was even worse than that. It goes in the trash. Now I'm going to be using this G-clamp to compress the piston back in, and you can see the old fluid is bubbling out. That was the color of maple syrup. Now I'm going to remove the bleed nipple. So rather than messing around with old bleed nipples, I'm pulling out this one, it's going in the trash because it's all rusted and corroded and I picked up new ones from Delco. So now everything's apart. Give it a clean with some brake clean. And I'm putting in the new stainless steel fitting there so that'll give us plenty of life. And now these are slide washers. These also need to come out because they're rusted in place. So I'm just drifting them out with a punch. See the difference? Okay, so I'm putting the banjo bolt in. You will note there is a copper washer that goes on both sides of the hose there. So now that that's in place, we can tighten it down and just snug it so that that copper bites in nice. Okay, that's fully assembled. New pads, new bleed nipple, uh, the slides have been greased up, everything's back together. Got the new line on there, just put in some anti-seize compound so that the brakes will come apart easier for future servicing. And that'll just slide right into place there. Come on, there we go. Now just snug both of them down, then torque them down to spec. And once we've got those guys tightened down, the only thing left to do is tighten that soft line. Okay, brake time. So it's a new line, new bleed nipple. All the washers and stuff in there are new. And new pads. And we also gave all of this a touch up and some lubrication to make sure it will work. 